this week was a really good one i was on my first podcast for usac uh, which will be coming out sometime in may and it was really great just to have a chance to talk about and reflect on my own personal experiences with studying abroad and how that's woven into my college career we have a family friend that is a third grade teacher so i got to talk to mrs hunter sheets class about the work that i've done with writing and how it's something that i love doing but also can be a source of income and i'm hoping that that was a good way to get them excited about writing and I was around that age when I realized that it was something that I loved doing, so I'm hoping that maybe some of those kids will end up loving writing as much as I do. So being on the podcast and then going in as a guest in that class, the beginning of the week was pretty busy for me, but then on Wednesday, Rachel and I headed to Camden. We finally got the bubble waffles that we have been meaning to get since like the first week that she was out of quarantine <laughs> and we walked around a lot of the really cool shops. There's multiple areas in London where they use repurposed shipping containers as shopping centers and so we explored one of those. We went around Camden Market now that it is open because we actually hadn't really been over there since everything was kind of up and running again. It was a really fun day. It was really rainy and dreary, but it was nice. We decided to go to Ireland next week, but then we realized that that is still not really an option for us. So I think we're hoping to go to Cornwall instead, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. On Friday, we took a day trip to Bath and we got to visit the Therme Bath Spas that Jeremy told us about and that was really fun because I'd been to Bath before but I didn't know about the spa and basically it was the naturally heated thermal waters that would be the same concept and like the same sort of water that the Romans used back when Bath, based on its namesake, was a popular spot for the thermal baths. And so that was, it was really enjoyable. It was nice because it was this rooftop spa, basically, this heated rooftop pool. I actually don't have any footage of any of that because it was, like, phones weren't allowed but it was nice and it hailed a little bit. We were under an awning and then the rest of the day was gorgeous weather. We did not think it was gonna be the case based on the forecast. We went to the Royal Crescent and over to the Pulteney Bridge. I, I don't know, something about being back over there in that area with the bridge and the river was just, a really cool sort of step into the past for me I guess. I have such vivid memories of that part of Bath and I, it was just so cool. I even got gelato from the place that I went back in 2017 and something about it just felt like a really full circle moment again. I've been having a lot of those lately but it was great and I'm so happy that we got the chance to go Saturday was supposed to be my graduation day. Clearly I'm still here, but I did get to watch Annabeth and Joel, two of my close friends from school, walk and I'm glad that I chose to be here. Even though I missed that mark of when I should be able to walk, um, I think that this really was the most authentic way that I could be finishing school. So I'm happy, I'm happy about it. Even though I didn't get a chance to walk on Saturday, Jeremy actually surprised me with a mini graduation 
celebration after our USAC trip to the Columbia Road flower market on Sunday. He gave me a fake diploma that he made himself based on the Alabama diploma um, like criteria and guidelines. <laughs> it was really funny actually. Um, but yeah, he gave me like a USAC cap and I got to move my tassel over and everything like that. And so it was still a really fun surprise celebration. So this is my fake diploma. I'm gonna read it. The University of Alabama has conferred upon Anna Schultz this completely fake degree of Bachelor of Arts with none of the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. This diploma has been signed by your resident director and a symbol found via Google has been affixed. Issued on this second day of May, 2021 at Columbia Road Flower Market in London, England. And there's a spot where he signed as the resident director and then he wrote fake signature inside <laughs> because he said it was uneven the other way. But yeah, so it was fun to have sort of a little bit of celebration and still commemorating that this is a big step. And even though I still have my final assessments left, I am pretty much done with college. I've got like a month left here in London and I've loved my time and I'm so happy to be here, but I am looking forward to the future. I was talking to Sierra last night about our apartment plans and she's gonna go down to San Diego and look at some options for when we move in the summer and it's just everything's getting so real and so close and yeah it's really really exciting it's a little scary a little daunting but for the most part I am so happy and I'm looking forward to everything that the rest of this spring is going to bring, this summer, lots of changes on the horizon, but I think in the most fitting, best way. So, yeah. I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.